Welcome to the next and final exercise in the Jumbotron lesson, and that's at a Jumbotron. In this exercise, our friend needs help making a website for his whale watching tour company. We are going to help him by adding a Jumbotron to make his website more fun and appealing. First, we're gonna put all of the content inside of a container div. Then we're going to create a Jumbotron div around the H1 and P tag that's already in the web page. And then finally, we are going to add a style rule for the Jumbotron class in our style sheet file that's gonna give our Jumbotron a background picture. And we're gonna find this background picture on publicdomainpictures.net or Pixabay, and we're gonna add it to the URL for the rule. We might need to change the font color so that the text is visible against our background photo so we have some good contrast. Let's get started, this should be fun. So when we run the code, we'll notice that the website he has so far is nice and simple, but we're gonna make it even nicer with the Jumbotron class and a background image for a Jumbotron. So first thing we wanna do is go ahead and add in that container class. So like everything else, the content needs to go inside of the container class. This is step one as far as the body's concerned. So div class equal to container. This makes your website content responsive and everything else is gonna go inside of this div container, everything inside of your body. Okay, so I just went ahead and moved that closing tag down to the bottom. So just very quickly, let's see what that change does. Okay, now you can only see a subtle difference there. We have some margins on the right side and everything is kind of centered in there. So just right away, it already just styles our page in a nicer, more visually appealing manner. Let's keep going. So we got our container, now everything is gonna go inside of our container. And the first thing that we're gonna be putting in our container is that Jumbotron. So this is gonna go at the top of the page and we do that by adding in a div with a class equal to Jumbotron right at the top. And I believe the exercise also wanted us to add the text center class to our Jumbotron. And remember this class basically Yes, this class basically just centers any text that's inside of that container. So inside of our Jumbotron, the text center class is going to be applied and all of the content should be centered. So let's copy that closing tag and put it down at the bottom or cut it and put it down at the bottom. And let's save our work. So when we refresh our page now, this content should be in a Jumbotron and it should be centered. Okay, looks good. All right, so we got our H1 tag centered and our paragraph centered. Just looking fabulous so far. Now the last step is basically to add in a background image to this Jumbotron. And I went ahead and found an image I liked and this is called Small Rainbow Whales. It's by K Whiteford, but you can use publicdomainpictures.net search bar to search up any image. I searched whale watching and this one just stuck out to me. I've been really gravitating towards rainbows lately. And to copy the image URL, you're just gonna right click and copy the image address. We're gonna go back into our style sheet and write a rule to apply this to our Jumbotron class. So down at the bottom, I'm going to start with my selector, which is Jumbotron. And the property for background image is background dash image. And you're gonna set the URL in single quotations. Just paste that URL. And we might need to change the font color if the contrast doesn't work out well, but let's see what we have so far. I'm assuming it's gonna be quite a challenge since we got a lot of colors going on. Okay, so looks nice, but definitely needs a little bit better of a contrast. And so this may not be the best image to use, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna leave it in here. And I went ahead and tried to find a color that might contrast well with this. So just taking a look here, maybe an orange color might work well. So you can just Google HTML color picker and Chrome has one built in and maybe something on the little bit of a darker side so we can 
kind of see it there. So I'm just going to copy that hex code and over in my style rule for my Jumbotron, I'm going to set the color property to the orange color I just selected and refresh my page to see what I got. Okay, so the orange color works really well, but the contrast isn't that great. So we can just fix this in CSS. Remember, your project is totally customizable. And we want to grab that H1 that's inside of the Jumbotron and the paragraph inside of the Jumbotron. And maybe give it a background color so that it's not clashing with that image. So I'm going to use H1 to grab the heading and then H1 plus P, remember from our advanced HTML and CSS, that's going to grab any paragraph tags that come directly after an H1. And there's probably multiple, well, not probably, there are multiple ways to do this. I'm just doing it this way because it's the first thing coming to mind. I'm going to give it a background color of black. And let's say, um, let's take a look and see what that does. Okay, much better. This may not be the best color combo for a whale watching business, but you get the idea. You want to get something that has better contrast. Since you're using a background image, a lot of times you run into contrast issues, especially with something like this that's really colorful. So you can give specific elements a background color and then give the text whatever color you'd like. And that wraps up the lesson on Jumbotrons. You are all doing awesome work so far, and I will see you in lesson four. Any questions, leave it in a comment.